here's the sad truth guys it's not that I don't want to make these YouTube videos but I've been really busy like for example I've been meaning to give you guys a 500 review on this mower ever since it hit 500 and I just haven't had the chance and now it's almost at 700 hours this is Dan here from Better Land Care and Landscaping. We're gonna skip everything. We're gonna skip all the intro. We're gonna skip all the fanciness. I will not be editing this video. I'm actually using my iPhone. And I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown on the Husqvarna Z248F. I purchased this mower one year, one and a, one and a half year now. Uh, I think I purchased it last June or the year before. Do I have this more two years? One and a half years, right? So I just wanted to show you guys, we actually use this mower for a commercial. Yes, a lot of you guys are gonna say, oh, this is not a commercial mower. You shouldn't be beating the mower down like this. I know, but I'm in Jamaica and this is all I could afford. Or we could afford or whatever. It's, it's hard, it's expensive to do stuff in Jamaica. If I buy a mower in the States, by the time I ship it down, 80% is added to the mower for custom fees of whatever the mower costs. I have to pay twice for the mower. Anyways, I'm not here to argue about tools and oh, I shouldn't be using this. This is what I could afford. This is what I have. So, this is the zero turn. This is the Husqvarna um, with the Kawasaki. I think this is the 23 horsepower. I think somewhere there so I wanted to show you guys a couple of the things that I like about it and a couple of things that I don't like about it like for example this mower is a beast dude this is a residential mower this has 700 hours in less than two years I beat the sh out of this mower the crap got beat out of this mower guys I'm not I kid you not Listen, I, I, I don't just cut lawns and homes. I'm cutting verges and, 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 and schemes and housing schemes. I'm cutting bushes. and So this is not one of those uh, reviews that will tell you about mowers that only cut properties that is, that is weekly cut or bi-weekly cut or monthly cut. I'm, guys, I'm cutting bush. So I want to share with you guys all the stuff that I've changed already. All the stuff that I would improve. Um, stuff that I like and stuff that I don't like. No, let's talk about the stuff that I don't like. I literally just changed these caps. So I beat this more so bad. I had to change all the parts in this section here. I had to change the bearings, the, the seal, the spring, everything. This cap is not being held on by anything and that's a problem. This is just smushed in. So if you're driving and it hits something, it can actually pop off. So I was, I've was i been driving the mower for a year and some change without a cap. Um, I just recently put one on two days ago because I redid the entire thing. Everything in here got hit. It, it was rocking and it was shaking. So I understand it wasn't meant to do what I, what I use it for, but it handled it. So I just changed it all out um, on both of them. Um... I lost the the, the, the the plastic piece from here. It it literally got ripped out. Cause I, I use this more for everything guys. For bushing and all this stuff. Right? Um You can see it's 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 beat it's beaten it's beaten to the ground. The cover for the ear filter it's damaged i'm supposed to replace that but i just haven't gotten a chance so here's a couple of things that i had to do to to make sure this mower um stands up right so this is the piece of metal that holds the deck let me see if i can get this to focus that holds the deck up right this actually broke off and i had to weld it weld it on i reinforced it on both sides and these holes are now rhymed all the way out this piece of iron i have to keep straightening this because it keeps bending i need to replace the entire thing but this this is a soft piece this is a weak point for these mowers this 
particular piece. The other side is not so bad. That nothing happened to the other side, but this side is where all the weight is. If you see where the spring is, um, for the for the parking brake, that actually popped off, and I didn't put it back on. I didn't put it back on. It popped all the way out, and I just took it off. So I I, I don't have a parking brake. Um, a couple of other things that I had to change. I had to change the clutch. I had to change the entire clutch on this. It cost me about 200 and something US dollars. Um, I think I think the clutch went because I laid this mower out, man. This mower is cutting literally. This mower is cutting these. I kid you not. I've cut multiple properties where I had to take these down. Yes, guys. Guys, I am not here to encourage you guys to argue with me about the mower and I shouldn't treat it this way. This is not what the argument is about. I'm showing you true trial tests that this mower actually went through. All the parts that I've changed. Now, the spindles, I have to change these spindles very frequent. I, I don't know why. Um, I think a couple of times the, the blade, the blade, um, the, the nut that holds the blade wasn't tight enough so it loosened over time and the, the blade spins and eat out all those little grooves that holds that holds the blade in so I had to change the spindle a couple of times I think I had a bent one at one point that just kept um, kept popping the belt now the belt that come come with these are not the greatest belt in the world they cannot handle the heat so I had to get this belt from this guy I think I need to get two more, um, but I, I change belt quite a lot. <sighs> to show you how, how, how bad this mower, how I handle this mower and how much work it really go through, I have to change these blades like once a month because they either bent or eat out completely from rocks. Because in Jamaica, there's a lot of rocks. A lot of areas are not, are not designed for mowers. They're really designed to use trimmers. The, the culture in Jamaica is a bit different in terms of building houses and expectation of maintaining their lawns. I've brought to the table how to 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 maintain lawns by using mowers and so forth. You know, it's changing and we've came a far away. So a couple other things that we've changed. So I actually broke one of these lever here. This this piece that holds the handle in. It actually broke and I had to replace one. Um what else did I change? I service this mower every 50 hours or every 100 hours. I change the oil, I change the air filter, I change the, 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 the oil filter, and I change the plug. That's probably the only reason why my engine is keeping up with all this craziness. Um, the next part that I didn't like is because I use this mower for commercial, I get flat tires all the time, like all the time. I'm trying to order the, the, the slime to put in the, the wheels so it's so run flat. All of these are plugs. Plugs. But this mower is a beast, guys. I kid you not. Listen, I'm sorry for the quality of the video. This is my first land mower. This will be my last brand. I'm not switching brand. I don't care who want to talk about SAG or, or Ferris or I don't care guys. My experience with Husqvarna, this thing is a, bro, this is a residential mower and it kept up. Based on the hours and the time, you can see that we put in a whole lot of work. We do a whole lot of, a whole lot of commercial work with this. This is the 48 inch. Um, I haven't changed, well, I've changed, I think I've changed some of those pulleys. Um, I've changed the pulleys about two times. I've changed the spindles maybe about five times. Because I've worked this more, guys. I've worked this more. I don't want to make this video long. But, yeah. Would I buy one more? Hell yeah. For three grand. Is it three grand or four grand? Somewhere there. I think it's about three thousand five hundred dollars for this on Amazon. Guys, I'm limited to tools because I'm in Jamaica. I have no dealer here. I have no no no. There's no there's no lawn care industry here in Jamaica. So we don't have the right tools. So we have to ship them in. And every time we ship it in, we have to pay for the shipping, plus customs would 
kick her ass, you know, just for shipping in a size a size motor like that. So it costs money to get tools here, and I can't I can't take out a mower and a loan and pay for it weekly or monthly. I have to be, I have to pay for everything cash. Everything has to be cash out of pocket, cash out of pocket. I'm trying to think of other things that I had to change on this mower so you guys can see. Um, I also change the gas filter very often as well because it's, 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 I need to clean all this out. But guys, this is not a makeup or a fancy review video. This is raw, no editing, no fixing, no logo stuff, no nothing. This is down here from right side like your landscaping. Oh, hold on. Before I go, a couple of things. Yeah. Even... Even this, the there, there was a there was a long piece of metal that came in with the, came in with the spring that held this part in. That is gone. This is broke. the The piece of metal that actually came with this, it was so thin it 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 tore out in less than three months. So I had to put this piece of metal in and weld it in. Actually, I just re-welded because this entire piece came out. Um, I need to clean up. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, you guys see, this is... This is no joke. This is a serious piece of more. I had to change the key switch as well. Yes, the key switch... And I changed the solenoid, the starter solenoid, um, I had to change that one as well. Um, the reason why this more really works out for me guys is because I'm able to get these parts on Amazon and they're pretty cheap. And because I don't have a dealer, I don't have access to, to most of the resource that you guys have. So I have to foresee a problem coming and order the part because it takes two weeks to get to me. Whew. So. I have to foresee a problem and either bush fix it or it takes me two weeks to get here and that's a problem for me but I still try to I still try to um to get by I still try to work you know I, I, I don't complain I'm hustling hard I'm trying to upgrade to the to the to the to the to a to a pre-commercial model because I can't go to the commercial model guys I'm broke can't go to the commercial model but this mower is a beast guys. I would recommend this mower for any residential properties or any person doing small properties where they just they're just starting up in the lawn care business. You know, if you're starting in the lawn care business and you're doing some serious size property, you should definitely get on Husqvarna, the Z series. This thing is a beast, man. I I I don't know how to emphasize. I've lost the 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 scalp roller. And this, I haven't replaced it. <sighs> Guys, I apologize for the shaky video. This is awful. But if I didn't do this now, I wouldn't do it at all. Because I've been so busy. So, thank God, I finally did it. Made the video. Anyways, this is Daniel from Brightside Lanky and Landscaping. And I'm saying, peace. What good. See you tomorrow, or not.